we have taken a look as to how the excretory system works in animals. So now let's have a look as to how it works in plants. But before that, let's make a list of what exactly are the excretory products in plants. We know that the process of photosynthesis results in the release of oxygen, which is of no use to the plant. So oxygen becomes one of the waste products. Similarly, the waste products generated out of metabolism need to be expelled. Also, even the various secondary metabolites can be included in this list. So let's have a look as to how these wastes are expelled out from the plant body. Firstly, oxygen. We know that it is the transpiration process that helps in carrying out gaseous exchange from the stomata. So needless to say that oxygen is given out through the stomata. Next comes the metabolic waste resulting from metabolism. One of the most unique features of plant cells is the presence of many large vacuoles. And these are the dustbins of the cell. Thus the waste products are all dumped in the vacuoles. And how do the vacuoles dump these products? Well, the vacuoles are never emptied. They are just filled with the waste. And when all the vacuoles in all the cells are filled completely, then the leaf falls off. Yes, the leaves of plants fall off because the cells within have all the vacuoles getting completely filled with waste products. Next in our list are secondary metabolites. What are these exactly? As the name suggests, the term metabolites means the product of metabolism, while secondary means not extremely important. Thus, secondary metabolites are the compounds which are not of much use to the plants. So these include the resins, gums, etc. So how will the plants get rid of them? Well, these are stored in the old xylem. Thus, as the bark of the tree grows older, the outer layers start getting filled with these compounds. That is the reason why sometimes we find sticky substances oozing out from the bark of the trees when cut. Apart from these aerial parts, plants are also known to give away a few waste products directly into the surrounding soil. This process, needless to say, occurs through the roots. These are all the possible ways in which plants get rid of the unwanted waste products.